today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this pencil pouch right here. It is super easy to make and it has the little hole so you can put it in your binder. Um, it has a really easy zipper closure right here and it can fit any of your pencils that you might have and might need for school. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is choose your fabrics. I'm going to use this bright, colorful fabric here, um, and I just think it is super uh, cute and pretty, and it has that uh, pencil pouch material, and it's very thick, so I really like that, and it'll hold up. Next, I'm going to uh, figure out um, what size I want my pouch to be. So I'm going to line my fabric out with the right side facing up, and I'm just going to uh, kind of see how big I want it to be. So I'm actually going to grab a pencil here, just a standard pencil. And I'm going to place that down. And you want to make sure you have kind of a lot on both sides. You want to make sure you have enough for a seam allowance. And also just a little wiggle room uh, for the pencils um, so that they're not cramped in there and they have some wiggle room. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut mine out to where I think... It will be a good size. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and make two of them. I have two identical pieces of fabric right here. And now what we're going to do is make the little binder holes so that we can uh, stick our pencil pouch into our binder. To do that, I'm just going to be using a notebook. You can also use a binder, but I think the notebook is just a little bit easier. Um, and if you want to know how I uh, decorated this notebook and just made it personalized and really cute, check out my last video. I will leave the link in the description box below as well as right here. Um, but you can just go check that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie the two pieces of fabric right on top of each other. We're going to open our notebook. We're going to lie the pieces of fabric inside. Close the notebook. And we're going to just trace out those holes right there. Open it up. And you have... Um, just little marks basically um, where the holes are and then I'm just going to enlarge in them like so and now I'm just going to cut them out so I'm just going to do that and now you have your holes and you can make them bigger smaller whatever you want whatever size you want but these will fret so what you're going to do is actually take a needle and thread sew around each of the holes so that they don't fray. Just go pull through, down, pull through, down, and just keep doing that. So I already have some ones that were already done here, um, and I just stitched around the hole there and got that so that it's not going to fray or anything anymore. And it's going to be really nice. Now, I made the mistake when I was cutting this out of making the fabric a little um, close to the holes there, like the edge of the fabric, a little close to the holes. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zigzag along the top um, just to make sure that that's not going to fray or anything because if it does, then it'll hit the hole and then that'll just be a mess. So I'm just going to zigzag right up along this top edge where the hole is. I've sewn along the top edges there. We're just going to put these two good side to good side like this. And we're going to sew along the top edge right there where we just zigzagged it. Okay, so I've now uh, sewn together the top edge right there. And if you flip it open like that, all your holes should line up like that. And if you fold it over like this, it should all line up. I'm going to make sure at this point that the holes can fit in the binder nicely. And if you want, you can go ahead and iron um, this top edge down. Or as I'm going to do, I'm just going to top stitch it real quick. So as you can see, this is laying all nice and flat now. Um, but now what we're going to have to do is actually do another sewing line right below the holes. And the reason why we want to do this is because when you put your pencil in, you can like see it through the hole. Um, and there... And there's also going to be, you know, the binder things right there. So I just like to sew just a quick line just right down here, right below the holes. So now that you've done that, your pencil can only go so far. 
And now what we're going to do is the zipper. I'm actually going to use this really pretty yellow one, which is a bit longer, but um, it'll work. I can just cut off the excess. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up like this. And it's just a simple way to sew a zipper. I'm going to fold this part over like this and just sew that right to uh, the zipper. And you can use a zipper foot and it'll get it nice and close to the teeth, the zipper teeth, but it won't sew along it exactly. So you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. Okay, so now we have our zipper attached and now what we have to do is sew up the sides. So I'm just going to open this up, flip this out, and put these good side to good side and just sew down the sides. You may have noticed when you're sewing up the sides that um, you hit a point where it, like if you sewed all the way up you wouldn't be able to flip it out. So what I forgot to mention is you actually want to stop if I show you the bulk is right here where the holes are you want to stop sewing right before then and you flip it out it should come out like something like this and then what we're going to do is fold in the sides and sew those in the reason why we have to do this is because we didn't sew up the sides before we did all the sewing up here but that would just been too complicated to do everything else if we did sew up the sides so I just think it's easier. Next what I'm going to do is trim off any excess zipper that I have so that's done and then we're just gonna sew in those sides and top stitch. So after you do that it's pretty much done and I know it might look a little uh, messy um, but you can just go ahead and trim like threads and stuff to make it cleaner and stuff like that and once you do it a couple times you'll get the hang of it and it fits pencils and it zips really nicely and so I think that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you guys next time bye the way to cover up the inside is you want to show that it's taking the first page and just fold that over and then